All right, hello everybody. We've got some prime adversity now. Dio would love this match. Oh baby, down tons and tons and tons of TV. Nothing makes me happier than to be down loads of TV, four mighty blows, guards, loads of players. Oh wow, his record is actually uh, <laughs> encouraging. Deck McPartland is the uh, is the coach, of course. He'll be lost if Ant is away. Um, so you know, there's there's at least there's at least light at the end of the of the tunnel with his his horrendous record. Um, he's wasted 100 TV on cheerleaders and coach assistants. So there you go. <laughs> now let's, let's see how many of his losses are concedes. <laughs> and that was a genuine 2 0 loss. That's a genuine 2 0 loss. <laughs> he's just losing 5 <laughs> 0. <laughs> uh, okay, I don't know. He seems to have like actually lost <laughs> lost actual games. Right, wizard. Borak. Babe. <laughs> yeah, it was when Ant was in rehab, yeah, exactly, yeah. <laughs> it's the doctor's flashlight working for your colonoscopy, holy shit. Holy shit. I don't like Grashnak, Frosty. He's easy to remove, isn't he, with the armor right? I don't like it. <laughs> yeah, Sophie, you know, like, guy's got a total record. Well, happy to give him some help. He's got four, we've got three, so it's really a close game. So, all loon, Garrett. Right, receiving, bang him out. Receiving, he might, he might be a conceder, in which case receiving might get him banged out. Fucking glad there's no block man. Need mighty blow man, don't I? And block is the most overrated skill in football. That's what I'd say. I'd say block. No concedes! Wow. How can he have lost so many games without conceding? That really is impressive, isn't it? Is it my setup or his? No, but... That is really impressive to genuinely lose those games. Maybe maybe he goes AFK when he's lost. Sub twenty percent is a rarity, isn't it? Today's his day in the sun though. <laughs> Today's his day in the sun. <laughs> This is when he'll turn it around. No fucking doubt. Yeah, he could be. He could just go AFK. That's how he's lost five 0 right? Or skip turns or whatever. Yeah, indeed, Dix. It's it's horrible, isn't it? Just saying this earlier. If somebody just, if somebody just buys the game and plays, you know, without any external things, then um, it's horrible, isn't it? Like he's taken good skill ups, hasn't he? At least I've seen worse skill ups on, on Rick's stream, certainly. <laughs> there's no, there's no thick skull on a on a on a high elf thrower, is there? So. <laughs> <laughs> you know, fucking <laughs> 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 hell! Ah, uh, oh, shit! He can't carry, can he? If he's scoring, uh, can't carry because blitz him. He can carry. Yeah, exactly, Jake Turner. This is what probably everyone's record would look like if they if they learn on Blood Bowl too. With, you know, without any external resources whatsoever. 
I get be horrible to just buy and play. <laughs> if you never read the rules, Jellio, if you just bought the game and you had to figure it all out yourself, I think it'd be horrible. Absolutely horrible. <laughs> Hello, Femi. Yeah. <laughs> oh, brilliant. Zero turns with 11 men. Oh shit, I didn't even see that, this guy. Like, he's not skilled because I only had the uh, mighty blockades there, Jenny. Touchback, glorious. Glorious push. It's going great so far. Yeah, no, right, that's what I mean. His, his team's built pretty well. Well, that was a devastating LOS, wasn't it? Two players knocked down, and my own guy KO'd. <laughs> Woo! Just receive and bang him out. <laughs> Doesn't really work for me. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> yeah, exactly, Jelly, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it literally has already, right? It's KO. Just done. Instantly. Okay, now this is a this is a zone blitz, isn't it? Unfortunately for the lad, this is uh, you know he's gone to the Chugman Milk School of not blitzing with mighty blow. <laughs> <laughs> hopefully, hopefully Chugs is still around. <laughs> oh, sorry, I couldn't help myself. Okay, good. We're getting the pushes that we need to do absolutely nothing. Yep, good, good. Maintaining the nothing effect. Let's see if we can do nothing to this guy as well. Yes, we did. We succeeded. Flip me, guys. Man should do absolutely nothing. Woo! This is really good. Oh no, a knockdown. Disappointing. Disappointing knockdown there. We haven't got maximum adversity. Unfortunate. Striker won the challenge. No, he qualified for the World Cup though. <laughs> Did you get diced up with by this lad? <laughs> oh, <dude. laughs> oh fucking fuck! Do you reckon a woo chat? A woo, a woo emote. A woo emote be could replace. Uh, could replace the fucking stupid sus one that never gets played anymore. Among us, no more among us. No more among us, Jim Shard. I like the Us, but it's just kind of died, hasn't it? I love the woo, it's fucking brilliant, man. It's like the best sound effect ever 
on 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 Elliot's channel, and obviously Rick does it all the time, and you know it's fucking great by uh, Rick Flair, isn't it? So like, the woo is pretty good. Yeah, and the moo as well, isn't it? He always does the moo. No. <laughs> Which is also pretty good. But woo is great. I love a good wooing. See if we can get a push. Woo! Got a push. <laughs> get in. <laughs> Good idea, Jelly, but I don't know why you'd want to be worse. Yes, another one! <laughs> Devastation. Absolutely devastating this lot. <laughs> Yeah, Joy, gave up on the chops. Gave up on the chops. Visualize. Actualize. <laughs> yeah, it's brilliant, it's an alley raid. It is brilliant. <laughs> yeah, I mean, to be fair, Joe, you can't get that much worse than you already are to get down to my level. It's fucking crazy, man. It's fucking crazy. I can't understand it. Like, I guess there's a lot of clever people in that. In Blood Bowl. Like, you know, a lot of nerds and what have you. But it's fucking crazy, man. You, like, look at, like, you know, the Fumble... Fumble forums and everything and Discords and, like... There's loads of people that aren't English, native speakers, and they just all speak perfect English. Like, it's fucking crazy. That's true, Cruiser, yeah, that's true. Uh, they had too much block, Kahuna. They were too boring, so I just got rid of them. Oh god, yeah, DXM, that's true. Right, this is hard to break through, isn't it? It's just got a big line of men. That's gonna blitz though. <laughs> Put him forward. Smash in hard over there. Quite like that idea. Put him there. And there's enough here to protect there anyway, isn't there? So we can keep this out. Put him there, maybe. Ho oh, ho got the knockdown. Outrageous. Isolate his guarder. And hopefully get the push forward next time. Hello, Muppet. <laughs> nice him up. Big turn coming, turn five, yeah. Yeah, hopefully, right? This guy's out of it. These can all smash down. He can smash down. He's stunned. So should be able to get forward. Hopefully. Of course, he might just bang down Borak and base up everyone else. But still, at least something's happening, isn't it? At least something's happening. Yep, just even banging, out, banging him out. There you go, there's the dub skulls for you. Quads? No, nearly. Look a dog. <laughs> 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 
He is pretty passive, yeah. Yep. Oh, that's fine, isn't it, that push? That might actually help us. Now Borat can make the block. Dude. And free up. That beast man to blitz instead of having to blitz him or something. Right, so these two hits and this hit and then move the ball up there, I think. After re roll one in nines. Now, tragically. Hello, I'm back. Yeah, hope derping would be would be a lot better than what he's doing. Which is essentially nothing. <laughs> this is annoying this one, isn't it? Because it's essential. And push means can't get through at all. I guess just don't get through if it's a matter of time. Oh yeah. Wonderful. Any <laughs> percent that can't be real. <laughs> I mean, I think it can be and is real. I think I've lost to someone else who had about a 18% win rate, to be honest. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure I've lost to like about a 20% or something. That was a nice thing. Yeah, it was a nice, nice to have had a couple of stuns, to be fair. I'm all right. I done shocking, shocking state of affairs. No, I just mocked it myself, Jellyel. Um I was just mocking myself, Jellyel. But like, genuinely, like, you needn't, you needn't worry because you are incredible English, and like, <laughs> I do sound like a derp a lot often. I do often talk like a derp, whereas you know, the likes of Dio and. Uh, Dio and PC articulate very nicely, don't they? And like, I could, but I'm just lazy. <laughs> most of the time, most of the time, I'm just lazy and I just like to swear and not bother. Okay, this double GFI here, for no reason, Blitz, is something, isn't it? When he has Mighty Blow right there. Like, he had Mighty Blow right there. Right there, no GFI, nothing required. I need double GFIs to hit without Mighty Blow. Like, that's in incredible, isn't it? It's just genuinely incredible that someone... Like, he's taken Mighty Blow on purpose. That That's the biggest thing that I can't understand, when people literally take Mighty Blow, you know? Like, it blew my mind. Blew my mind watching uh, Dode and Zunk. Because I just couldn't understand how they've taken Mighty Blow and refused to lose it. And I know it turned into a bit of a meme with uh, with Chugs and uh, not blitzing with Mighty Blow. Because, like, obviously you don't want to do it every turn at the expensive position and what have you. But honestly, like, I just don't understand how, how you can double cheer fight a hit without Mighty Blow. when you've got a Mighty Blow right there. <laughs> it's crazy, isn't it? It's crazy. All the curses sound fluid. Yeah, the curses are... Uh, uh, that, that's my specialty, isn't it? Yeah. But, I mean, they were. They were trying to win, and it just bamboozled me. <laughs> no offence to them, of course. <laughs> no offence to them. Oh, fuck. Mm. 
Change. So now we're in the uh, mighty blow is bad kind of situation, aren't we? Disappointing. I mean, it's not even mighty blows. It's, it's not like had a block guy there anyway. Okay, not bad. Yeah, like, you know, it, like, how, like, you know, at the end of the day, look, it, it was a bit mean to Zunk because although he's put himself out there streaming, he never, you know, he never claimed to be any good, did he? Like, Devo was the one doing the blood ball and he was doing the talking and stuff. But, like, so it was a bit unfair to, like, you know, mock Zunk in that, in that game. But, Dode was, like, was so involved in, like, you know, trying to get changes done and everything. Was so involved in like, so vocal in, in all the forums and everything. And like, acting like he knew what he was talking about. And for him to just be that fucking shockingly, horribly bad. It was like... It was bad, wasn't it? <laughs> Mr. Throw. Got him. Ooh, got him. Whee, woo. Um, it's about what they said, like 10, 4, 40 or something. Something like that. Where can I go here? Oh fuck! He's got. He's got. He can surf me. Oh no! I shouldn't have been there anyway, right? Not even getting surfed. Like there was no reason to be there. Even without getting served, he could have just powered and ball could have gone in the crowd. Not on the stall square. Not on the... Should have been there. Like, this is bit harder to hit, but really should have been there. <laughs> Get off my fucking bitch, on the break. To be on the proper stall square. <laughs> Hopefully he doesn't roll godlike dice. Good. So, taking the cars, so I'll bash the KO to two KOs, but obviously you'd expect that. We have an armor nine, actually had quite good dice, I would say, and he had quite bad dice. But, um, there you go. Yeah, rebooted them, Power Pickle, they were too boring with just block. <laughs> yeah, good day, Nick, probably. <laughs> you motherfucker. <laughs> oh, dear. He hasn't said anything. It's a good question, Jelly Deals. What if he really is a bot? I he's taking good skills, that's it, hello. Like, he's genuinely, he's taken good skills, and, uh... He refuses to blitz with my evil. He rolls another dub skulls. <laughs> oh, brilliant. Brilliant. Oh. 
Has him bang him out with mighty blow. You Skynet. <laughs> yeah, Jelly, yeah, back to back quaddies. That's pretty brutal, isn't it? <laughs> Something in binary. <laughs> that is simply not true. The data does not support your assertion. Apple's gone though, so. So it could go badly. Like, I guess there's no one really worth anything losing, like the mighty blow warrior is the, is the biggest loss. Which wouldn't be the end of the world, would it? Like, literally, the, the mighty blow was the... It was the right decision to pull the mighty blow, I think. I can't lose too much from it. Put him on there so you can get kill him. Mighty Blow Warrior. See, oh, 08. No, not hit on the OS. Thank you very much. Hello, HTK. Oh, glorious. Bullshit. You can be mine. <laughs> Thank you very much, old man fatten, the oldest man in Blood Bowl. <laughs> I'm joking. You look younger than me, I don't know how old you are, but I just I can't resist I can't resist the old man memes. <laughs> but um hello, thank you very much for the raid. Absolutely glorious. Oh we're the same age. Unbelievable. Um <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's very nice of you, Fatten. Welcome, Fatten viewers. Absolutely glorious. Two massive horses there. day. Thank you very much, both of you. And, uh... <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true. Yeah, Jelly, that's true. Um, yeah, please don't talk about the full block team. I tried going block. It didn't work. So now... Not going to go all men's mighty blow, but just getting the early mighty blow, you know, to get a chance against orcs, like having core mighty. I'm sorry, I'm trying to be positive, you know, not in a not in a deranged psychotic way, but in a like, not that I'm saying Rick's deranged and psychotic, but I mean I would be if I tried to be as as uh, <laughs> I would be if I tried to be as positive as Rick. More realistic, you know, wow, um, kind of positive for me, you know, like, there's no way I could be as positive as Rick, but I'm, I'm trying to be as positive as I can be, there you go. <laughs> if you want to be part of Team Positive, this guy... Look, he's blitzing without mighty blow every like time. Like, I'm not complaining. You play but you'd probably be having a, a heart attack out if you were playing this guy. This chugs us out. Well, go for the win, yeah. I'm gonna try to go for the win. Uh, I am. I'm not gonna go for the win though by pointlessly exposing the ball carrier. And hoping for a Kaz. Gonna go for the win by uh, trying to score touchdowns. <laughs> it's Deck. <laughs> Do you know who Deck is? Is, is? is it Van and Deck fame? Is he a computer? Is it the Blood Bowl AI? Hey! He fouled with a black orc. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> and against a team with 12 players. Um, so it's literally had no effect even if he cast him. Because he's going on the bench. 
Um, so yeah. <laughs> and he's got terrible dice. The craziest thing is he is getting diced as well. Like obviously he doesn't need to be being diced. But he is. He is being diced. Oh wow, Calcium, well done. You look a dog. You absolute look a dog. Alright, Ansi's on the front line for a concussion. I might as well put the uh, journeyman on the LOS and oh and save the guy who's leveled, right? Save the guy who's leveled so he definitely gets his skill. That seems a good idea. Yeah, yeah, maybe Ali really, yeah. But I mean, you know, like taking good skills and not using them is uh is the thing. Yeah. <laughs> you could take some I mean yeah, honestly I think we'd all be uh I think we'd all be pretty terrible. Um Hello G23. I think we'd all be pretty terrible if we just uh, if we just played Blood Bowl 2 without anything else. That's the thing, right? Like if you just literally bought the game and tried to learn it by playing the game and didn't use any you know, didn't read the rules on online, didn't use YouTube or you know, the art of blocking or any any resources or whatever. If you didn't use any resources and you just all bought the game and tried to play it, this is probably what you'd be like. <laughs> it's not the mind of a shit. Don't be mean. Like, like there's, you know, there's, like first of all, he could just not care. Like that's and that's fine, isn't it? Like not caring is fine, but like it, it's like it's, it's brutally hard to um, to just like play it with what Blood Bowl 2 gives you, I think, you know? Hello, Tony. Yeah, I'm sure he just doesn't care. Like, that's fine, isn't it? Like, it, you're not meant to care about it. It was never meant to be cared about Blood Bowl. So, <laughs> yeah, that's true, Kahuna, yeah. But I still, I mean, I still, I still cared, didn't I? <laughs> still cared, even though I did Death Roller. <laughs> It is just a. It is. It is just a children's game. Like it literally is. It literally is, though. As good as the meme is. Oh wow! He does not care about the GFIs. He has rolled terribly. <laughs> like yeah, okay, it's a frivolous GFI. <laughs> All of his GFIs have been completely frivolous. But he's rolled like about three dub skulls. I'm sure he'll pass. You don't get to eighteen percent without passing. <laughs> oh dear. I don't know about shit, I think it's a fine kids game. What shit is the BBRC made it nearly competitive, didn't they? So it's like and there's a great concept at the heart of it with a, with the with a turnover, isn't there? The turnover rule is like a great concept at the heart of Blood Bowl. Uh, the mechanics of Blood Bowl Third Edition. The turnover is a great is a great concept. And then, um... <laughs> yeah, do you reckon Necropotence? <laughs> We've got a bit of a conga line. <laughs> oh, please fail the pick up just so I can base the ball. Oh shit, he's double GFIing! Oh god! <laughs> oh god! 
<laughs> Incredible. No pass though. Jim Shard. I wanted to fucking do the safe thing of the first action being a 3D. But then... Because I didn't want to... <laughs> I should have probably just moved this guy in there so I could have done the 3D first. And then, I mean, the, obviously if I do the 2D here, then I don't need to GFI that guy in yet. But then I'm doing the 2D without block. I have to, uh... have to re-roll it. Could have fireballed, couldn't I? Maybe should have done. Hole kicks off. Right, I'll just do the 2D and re-roll it. Okay. Don't have to re-roll it. Glorious. I guess I could have just uh, blitzed and based the ball, couldn't I? But I wanted to get people in front. I guess I could have just blitzed him and based the ball, that might have been better. But, uh, hopefully can use the fireball or bolt next turn. And he could just score next turn, which is also fine, isn't it? Why base letting potato? Yeah, I guess, I guess. I don't know. Bad fireballs. I don't know. I ran out of chocolate on normal bed. I'm never going to eat chocolate again. There you go. Never ever again. The wall. <laughs> um, yeah, it's some threes to score, isn't it? That's blood ball for you. Like, all the crazy stuff is never that crazy, is it? And this isn't even crazy at all, anyway. <laughs> well, you are a natural snacker, aren't you? But I'm just not, not going to do it. Never. Just 1D blitz. Why not? <laughs> no hot chocolate either. No. I'm not drinking piss, no, I'm drinking uh, orange juice. It's diluted orange juice um, that looks invisible for some reason. Isn't that weird? Um, it's very weak orange juice because obviously I don't know the shite that's in orange dilute. Um, like it's fucking terrible, isn't it? Even though there's no added sugar, it's like it's just to make water a bit less trash. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. I know. I mean, I know that, that's why I said it's invisible. <laughs> it's invisible, look. Oh. Yeah, English water is absolute shite. So it's just to take the edge off how bad water is. Like, I like drinking water, but English water is absolute shit. <laughs> the double <-a> GFIs? <laughs> Another do do play GFIs? <laughs> Not a problem. <laughs> uh. 
Oh dear. Another GFI. Well, now he's had some decent dice, hasn't he? Nah, I'm just gonna save it until it's essential. Like, there's not there's not stuff to recover, is there? Like, the problem is, he's got like five players down here, thanks to all those GFIs. <laughs> Outnumbered down here. Outnumbered in this area of the pitch, so I actually don't want to use the wizard. Rather, pound the sideline, hope for the ball in the crowd. Looks like there could be two dice in the ball, doesn't there? Looks like there could be. I'm no expert. But there might be two dice in the ball here. <laughs> hey. Outrageous. God, it's a 1D. Oh no. <laughs> it's a fucking 1D. Maybe this works. GFI'd be great, wouldn't it? But I guess can't even try. No, I'd rather try and take the ball off him, Dio. Like, there's both. It's risky both ways, isn't it? Right? If you if you force him to score, then it is one one and things can go wrong. Like he can get a blitz and cast loads of people and everything. Um, on the other hand, if you defend it like this, worst thing is he scores soon because still got the bolt and people back. Um, but best case is it's still one nil, isn't it? And then can uh, can hand it off to a warrior. Like at the moment now, there's more chance to hand it off to a warrior, right? It's one nil. There's more chance. There's more opportunity of one nil to hand it off to a warrior. Because if it's one one, then you have just got to secure the win, haven't you? Yeah, the out of bounds scatter was would have been great, wouldn't it? And plus, just because I'd stopped him stalling, wouldn't mean that it would stop him stalling. <laughs> 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 you could just roll all the dice and carry on stalling. Could roll all the dice on defense. Like, dice are a thing, aren't they? But I mean, they both have risks, of course. It's like the old perfect eight turn stall, isn't it? When you uh, when you know you, you more or less stop them, but don't quite, and then they fucking score on you in the end. So, like, anything's possible. Everything's got risks, hasn't it? If he powers him in the end zone, because he can't surf him because of this. So, the ball could go in the end zone, and if it does, it just gets thrown on in a random direction. Um, but, like, you know, so he could only power into here, and the ball might scatter in the crowd. But if, if, if this guy wasn't there and he could have uh, powered him, if he could have just pushed him in the crowd, then it would just get thrown back on. Yeah, it was a pretty good turn of dice. Yeah, it was. The pickup was big. The dodge there was nice, wasn't it? If it's just powering him, could have just pushed him. 
Yeah, Borak power. Yeah, push was pretty rotten from from Borak. So yeah, yeah, it was a pretty nice turn of dice. So. But you know, everything's got risks, hasn't it? Whichever, whatever would have happened, would have had risks. Okay. Well, there might be a way to surf this guy, mate. The question is if there's like better ways to do things. I think just blocking him is going to be better. I mean, maybe not, maybe Blitz and then he comes back. He could go and pick up. Then he could get served. He could Blitz though. Afterwards. And then not pick up. Fuck me, I don't know. Ce joueur, à cet attaquant, il transpire la faiblesse. I'm going for a shit with a wireless mouth. Right, sorry about that. Oh yeah! No oh, way! Yeah. Oh god. I love the bar. <laughs> Intricate oh. array of nippets. It could be a perfect day to install, couldn't it? That's the, that's the danger, of course. Like, both ones have danger, isn't it? If, it's, if, it, if you let him score, then, um. Maybe he scores, and then you've got pressure to score back. He could roll a blitz or a perfect defence to just base you up, you know, and make you drive hard. On the other hand, um, if you go for the defensive score, you could fail and end up getting perfect stalled on. So. Who knows? Yeah, Rock could have just killed somebody in that. So, like, whichever path you choose, there's dangers. I'd prefer to just 
keep it nil nil when someone completely serves up the ball carrier. Like I would take every game kicking and my opponent scoring in two. Like I would start every game like that and be quite happy. But if they serve up their ball carrier on, on turn two, then I'll, I'll knock it down. No, oh, thanks, PC. Not yet. <laughs> Not yet. But there's definitely the potential for things to go south. Saf. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think miserable is very good. Angry, fair enough. I am miserable. Not what I want to be. Never surrender. True North. <laughs> oh well, that's all. End the turn I'm glad. for fuck's sake! I'm glad. I'm End glad. the fucking turn, man! Because you know, I feel like the miserable one is not so good. If you want to be part of Team Positive, then uh, you've got to fucking suck it up. Stop bitching mm. like a little baby. Second time is uphill play better, eh? For no punish. For fuck's sake, Tony! <laughs> Stop being shit! You could bolt, right? But I think I'm gonna keep that. Just rely on the Borak 2D. Hey! Will he re roll it? Of course he bloody does! But he's into another uphill. Yeah. No, no, he doesn't. No, he doesn't, Starfeathered. <laughs> no, he fucking doesn't. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> That's disappointing, isn't it? Should I risk the one in there and then should I? Did it anyway. And banged out here. KO. And the stun. But I mean, he's got, he's lost quite a lot. Oh my god, the, the black hawk he fouled with was his guard, block guard, mighty blow. <laughs> It wasn't just a black hawk that fouled. <laughs> it was his second best player. <laughs> Amazing. Amazing. Holy moly. <laughs> My blood does not work on a farm, no. <laughs> it used to. It used to in 1994. But, um... Yeah, not anymore. Of course, Mighty Blow will work on assist... on assisting fouls in, uh... In Blood Bowl 3, if it's programmed correctly. 
<laughs> oh god, he's just in a 4 plus dodge for no reason. He probably was, to be fair. 1994 wasn't uh, wasn't peak good though. No, no, Jelly. Guard lets you assist fouls. Did I say mighty blow? Guard lets you assist fouls in Blood Bowl three, if it's programmed correctly. Because you plus one fouls. I didn't mean mighty blow. I was being an idiot. It's hard to speak, you know. This is what I mean, Jelly Lisa. You're saying about us being fluent. It's hard to speak English. <laughs> Hello, Scuron. Glorious. Oh, God. Yeah, God, finally useful, yeah. It'll be great on, like, Black Oaks that can, um... Oh, mother fuck. Now I've got a Blitz with a Ball Carrier so I can re-roll it. Oh god, what's he make? Oh, he does make it. Oh no. Oh no. No. <laughs> I could bolt. I guess I've got a bolt. I've got a bolt. Is uh, his frenzy. I nearly, I nearly st didn't stun him up as well. Hideous. Le joueur qui l'a repoussé est plus fort que lui. Mieux vaut en rester là. Oh fuck! I missed him. Fuck. Could have GF fine. Wouldn't have really made much difference. I probably just picked him up and moved him up there. Fuck. Still got a re-roll, I guess. Yeah, there was no point blocking really because he could just double skull, couldn't he? Like he's still he's still occupying them both. Double skulling there'd be horrible for even both, so like the payoff didn't match the reward because that's why he didn't block in case someone said that. Fast Apache. Well done. Yeah. Borat could have blocked, yeah, but that, that's the thing. It's like the risk, the the risk outweighed the the risk outweighed the reward for me. But this one I just forgot. Shit. <laughs> the great Jiminy fucking hell. Kill. Oh, thank God. Mm. 
Remember this time. He should have stood up as well, really. Shouldn't oh boy. <laughs> well, I guess there's going to be no handoff. <laughs> I want him to base him. Two mighty blows. I'm concerned though. Well. And he could have just done that, couldn't he? He could have gone three, four, five. He could have come round here and I could have 2D'd that Black Orc. And then still had somebody basing him. That would have all been a lot better if he'd stood up last turn, but never mind. Doesn't matter. should still be a win, shouldn't it? Doesn't really matter if it's 1-0 or 2-0, the important thing is the win. Is he in range? Just. He's just in range. Can try to get it to him. Maybe. Relying on cyanide autopathing is not doing him any favours, is it? And to be fair, you would expect it to do it properly, wouldn't you? Like, if you again, if you didn't know, if you didn't like go on Twitch or YouTube or anything, you would expect the game to be not shit, and you would expect it to uh, to path you the best way. Yeah, Wiz was double based, so. Would have had to get a pal to get away with now without a two blitz. Oh no, look, he's done it the right way. Alright, that's pretty good. It's pretty good. Hats off. So now it's definitely a win. Some SPPs. Easy. And he can feel his GFI and down. Alright, unbelievable, Jeff. Man, that as well wreck Mr. Thrall. Yeah, might as well. I think oh, yeah. oh god. Yeah, I mean, oh, maybe you should have tried to feed the mighty ball. And you're right. You're right. Maybe you should have tried. It's harder to uh, harder to get the warrior, isn't it? <laughs> Fuck's sake, Bolt Force, hello. Yeah, 
Yeah, leveling the last team wide was a big problem. Yeah, it wasn't just block. Yeah, that's right. It's true. It's true. It was. It wasn't just the block. But to be fair, there's only there's only one skill on the team, so I'm quite all right with getting a second. I just didn't like them, Gilliam. <laughs> I did not like what Fault Force said. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I didn't worry. Goes well. Yeah, two skills. Sorry, one beast. Yeah. I purposely didn't foul him, hoping that he wouldn't foul me back. Foul him. Anyway. <laughs> he got the gym foul. He made two fouls and got sent back four times. You'll love to see it. Let's do the old 3D. Oh, I could have blitzed the warrior. I didn't realise that was the mighty blue warrior. I don't know, I don't know if it's worth it, I'm not the warrior. I guess it is because I did the GFIs last time. Glorious. Glorious warrior touchdown. <laughs> I guess I should do a woo emote there. Um, oh God, there was one where there was a card where you, I don't think it was an assistant coach, it was just uh, but if like the opposing coach had somebody on the sidelines, you, your, your coach would like trip them up or something. I don't think it was actually, uh, I don't think you need an assistant coach to do it. Right, wonderful, got pretty lucky there as well, like, it's crazy isn't it, got luckier than him. Mid 20 GFIs, nearly as many GFIs as Shawnee, that's not good. <laughs> 28, 31, 33, it's not a terrible block dice overall. 46, 33, 34, so actually bad block dice overall, but it felt quite good, because I guess there weren't that many 1 in 9s. And it doesn't really matter if you're rolling skulls with pals and skulls with pushers, then getting loads of them don't really matter, do they? Right, yeah, so there was a lot of skulls. And both downs, but when they're, oh, when they're paired with a push or a pound, it doesn't matter, does it? That felt quite a lucky game. And he did well, didn't he? He, he, nearly, he nearly made it a draw. He wasn't, he wasn't a million miles away from getting a draw. Absolutely not. And uh, that could be, that's, that's not could be at all. There's no could be about it. That's another mighty thing. Right. So now. One of these scores, one 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 blitzes, one one carries, and level them both up. Right, flickiest, flackiest got his uh, tuddy. Three and all start, glorious. Right, thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.